Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use um, pin delay and z-axis uh, constraint settings inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So the z-axis control basically allows you to uh, include the, the thickness of the PCB, so the length through a via or a, a pin uh, when calculating things like differential pair, static and dynamic phase, and also uh, your match groups, your relative and min-max propagation delay rules. The pin delay allows you to include the distance from effectively the die to the pin uh, when you're using uh, the propagation delay rules as well. So you can actually calculate that value in time or in length. Um, you'll get a pin delay file maybe from the chip manufacturer. You can import it into the design and actually see that in Constraint Manager and then it takes it into account. So we'll start off with Constraint Manager. So let's go to set up the constraints. I've got a simple example here. I've got a byte lane, so we'll just analyze this before we import the data. You can see effectively I'm meeting all the constraints I've got, so all my length matching is good. So if we then close that. Um, if we look under the import menu, more, there's something called pin delay, and we can then go and browse for a text file. So I've got my pin delay file here open um, this is specifically uh, got u5 in it so you'll see u5 highlight already so we'll just import it onto u5 um, i could pick another device if i wanted to as well we'll then close that and this pin delay file effectively is just a, a pin number and a, and a time amount so if i then we go to constraint manager again and we analyze the byte lane again you can see it's actually brought in the pin delay values here so effectively, uh, I've got pin 1 and pin 2, so U10, A4, U5, F15. This would actually be on U5. This one's on U5, G10. So you can actually see it's down to IC1, IC2, pin 1, pin 2. Uh, I've got a good indicator here that my pin delay rule isn't enabled yet. And this can be accessed effectively from the analyze analysis modes. If we look at the electrical tab, I've got pin delay, so I can include all propagation delay and differential pair phase checks. Um, with the propagation delay velocity factor and the same effectively for the z-axis delay. If you wanted to adjust these values, you can. Um, click OK. And then what will happen is you're now, I'm getting some, some red, so my, um, which basically means that I'm not meeting the constraints anymore. My length matching is incorrect. So if we go back to the design itself, um, I've actually got the, the DRC errors here. So you can see I've actually, uh, I'm not meeting the constraints. Now in some scenarios, I could need to add, add some delay. I might need to, to remove some delay. So um, Let's just uh, let's just try off with a slide command first, and maybe just see if we can uh, if we do the uh, the extend selection function. Let's just maybe reduce this. Yeah, I need to reduce the, the length of this. You can see kind of going down to green. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do the same on this one. Let's actually physically remove. So what we'll do is we'll actually use the delay to command to remove the delay, and then we can add a delay in again. Sometimes that can be quicker depending on what you need to add or remove. So that's meeting the constraint now. I'm gonna remove the delay on this one as well and re-add it. And then it's this pin here. And we'll just, uh, let's just add some delay to this one. That's good. I'm, I'm, it looks like I'm meeting my, my constraints there. There's no DRC errors. If I go to Constraint Manager, we'll just analyze um, the design again. You can see I'm green and I'm good to go.